So this is Van Furniture's short wheelbase kitchen. Laminated birch, uh, Costa Rica blue, um, lovely color. Matches really well with the Van Shades denim uh, pods that we've got on there, really, really nice. The oak worktops are just gorgeous. Um, love them. Really, really nice bit of kit. We got the extra um, panel so we could do the fridge as well. Van Furniture kitchen works really well with the Dometic CRX50. It'll also work with the Vitri Frigo fridges. Uh, JK's, um, just campus that is, JK50 fridge works. If you can get the Alpi Cools, um, they're a bit harder to get now. They are a budget fridge, but they're, they're pretty good. They've got LG compressors and they'll also fit in that space really well. Um, so yeah, your standard sized, um, I think they're about 45 to 48 litre fridge, but everyone seems to call them a 50. Um, yeah. So above the fridge, you have a door that drops down. I think pretty much everybody wonders why there's not a drawer there, but I think once you've put the hob on the top, that drawer would be so skinny, so shallow, uh, it ends up rather uh, useless. So a door then that means you can get a little bit more underneath it and without you know, interfering with any of the components of the hob that you put on. We're not sure what we're gonna put in this one yet. It could well be a diesel hob that goes in there so hence why we've just left it blank for now um, we're also not sure if we're going to bother uh, because we do have an awning that goes with this so it's nice to be able to leave that as a complete worktop and why would you cut a hole in that really lovely piece of oak it's so nice so in the middle two doors uh, cut so you can obviously have the standard rock and roll bed there which would sit just under the extra there to gain access into that little storage area. So you've got the two doors. Again, with generous sort of shelving that goes around the corner. Adjustable shelf to position where you wish. Loads of space in there. So soft closed hinges. So even when you're really angry, you can't get them to slam. So yeah, oh, nice. Lift up lid on the end of the worktop and then you've got your little top cabinet with I see you put some mugs or a box of tea, tea bags or coffee or whatever you've got in there. Pretty handy little storage areas. You've got a little shelf you can use on the top of the wardrobe unit. If you want to put magazines, books and all that up there little door so you can access the rear of it while you're sat in the van and then of course this lovely oak timber door which is up in there and access to the inside without having to go outside so if it's raining you can get into that massive void at the bottom of the wardrobe there so lots and lots of places to store all your camping paraphernalia so yeah really really nice thought out layout which works well for rock and roll beds l-shaped beds slide in beds yeah, this um, goes with everything really great your kitchen and at the end of the worktop you do have this lovely little access area which again another nice big hole that you can fill with all your camping paraphernalia pillows and cushions can all get stuffed into there staying nice and clean out the way or of course you know if you want to put your leisure battery system or set up or gas you can um, you know, put a gas locker in there put your gas bottle in there so it's stored in there uh, quite safely uh, that's another use for that really handy with all your electrics and bits and bobs could go in there back of the kitchen unit just features these nice two little doors again to gain access to the top of the unit and the lower unit plenty of potential for um, mounting leisure batteries gas lockers and that sort of thing do be careful with the gas locker size because these doors aren't massive because of the shape of the van and the width that's available you know you'll have to be using a pretty small gas bottle to be 
uh, mounted into there. So good for a leisure battery set up in there next to the wheel arch, secured down on bracket, um, and then have your fuse box in there. Again, keeps it out of the main storage areas of the van. So really handy for that. And then of course the top locker, great for your clothing and all your other bits and bobs that you can stack up in there. So yeah, good use of space.